Hey everybody, how's it going? Matt McCoy here from Loop Community. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to install the Loop Community vocal cues. So once you download them for free from the Loop Community website, you should get a zip file. So I'm going to go to my desktop where my zip file is, and here's the zip file I downloaded. So I'm going to open that up, and it's going to unzip the file. Now I've got a folder called cues. We'll open that up. And you can see that we offer um, three different folders. We give you a folder of just all the raw waves, just in case you want to use them in your own uh, digital audio workstation. Uh, we give you reason patches, if you want to use this for reason. And I'm going to show you how you can import these into Ableton. So we're going to open up the Ableton folder. I'm going to click on this live pack. We'll double click on it. And it's going to launch Ableton Live. Now, once that, once that launches, it's actually going to ask me where I want to install this live pack. So I'm going to select, um, I'm going to throw those in my, I have a loop folder under music. I'm going to put it right in there under loops and hit open. And now what it's doing is it's installing that live pack onto my machine. So now let's go to file and open live set. And we're going to find where I installed that. I put it under Music, Loops, and uh, I have a folder called LC Ableton Q Template. And let's go ahead and open up the Q Template. And once this loads, you'll see our Q Template. And what you should hear when you hit play is this. One, two, three, four. So this is just kind of a template showing you how you could use these cues. Up on the first track, I put uh, you know band cues in using MIDI and we also put a click in using MIDI and here's the drum rack with the different cues built into them one two three four five six so it's really great it's already ready for you to go to actually edit and draw in those MIDI cues last time interlude instrumental chorus you can two. just play those cues out even just like an instrument so last thing you want to do, um, if you want to be able to just access this from any project that you have, I'm actually going to save this instrument into my personal live library. So I'm going to click on the LCQ's drum rack. I'm going to hit this little save button here in the top right corner of the instrument. And what that's going to do is it's going to save that drum rack into my library folder. I'm going to hit enter. And it's actually copying all those audio files into my live library. And after that, you should be good to go. So have fun building cues for your worship songs.